Hi Firesign, welcome to my channel. We're doing your April, oh April, oh it's May now. So this is May 2nd. This is gonna be for Aries, Leon, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, let's see what's going on for you guys. Here we go, May 2nd, here we go. We got here Eight of Pentacles. Someone is focused on something, focus on work, focus on, this is someone who's, uh, who is focusing on their skill um you know can be building their themselves this is going leading to the nine of pentacles of course so very busy you know sitting down and you know very occupied like i'm i'm doing something i need to focus on this you know this is the eight of pentacles energy um this person could probably you know like going out you know like working of course this is like uh, someone who who's working for their future you know to get to the ten of pentacles you know when they get ready to the nine they get to the ten you know let me see here, the other person. The other person is a chariot, could be dealing with a Cancerian here. This person is trying to make a success out of them while the other person already found out what they want in their life. Um, you know, because this is a person who's divinely guided. So when I say divinely guided, like they have already um, in tune themselves to, to their higher self. Um, this is the blessing of the, you know, the stars here, the universe. So they've already seen um, what their destiny is and they move forward. It's very interesting because you, you will see here that this chariot is, has always been set in stone over here. You know, it's, they're not sitting on it, but they're, they're like placed on top of it. So this is someone who's fixed with their destiny, meaning um, they know where to go and they're going to proceed, basically. Okay. Let me see here the other person. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So someone this is a fated event here. Um this is a cycle of of events. So there's has been a series of events with eight of pentacles here. Because there's you know like eight of eight of pentacles it goes one step, one step, one step. So you're talking about every little thing every little pentacle over here is a symbolic of time for me pentacles is time and wheel of fortune for me is clock so this is something here is happening in succession this is a divine order i'm not sure what what that means but this is the first time i'm hearing divine order so there's divine order with how things are happening between you and this person that's very big because it's faith, like it's it, everything is happening in accordance to to what the universe has intended, and this is choosing free will also. This is going alignment with your with your free will aligns you to your your destiny basically, and you have your the lovers card and the chariot. Someone here is moving towards a partnership. Well, the other person here is is letting time. This is someone who's allowing faith. And this is someone who is following their heart. Because the lovers is here with the chariot. So it can be connected with a Gemini with the Cancerian energy. Um, this is knowing, following what they love. And the other person is letting faith be. This energy here right now is separate. It's, it's like... Um, they exist but not on the same on not, not i mean can they not on the same time you know like you've like you've like you know how this person is not born yet the person that you're gonna be with is being born or reborn but because i see different timeline over here like someone is still working and then you know i'm hearing already the you know the baby i'm hearing the baby being born it's very interesting because then that's some serious age. No, not serious age gap. But this is two people who was, well, okay, then there's age gap. Okay, that's what they're saying. There's age gap. Seventh house over here. Sixth house. Tenth house. Uh, okay. Someone here is really focused on their career because eight of pentacles with the, ten, with the wheel of fortune. Tenth house is house of, uh, house of career. Well, the other person is he, uh, here with in succession six and seven. So working out their losses to gain their success with the chart card here. 
Let me see here underneath the other person. Page of Cups here. While the other person is working their their career, fated event, they, they meet this water sign. Can be younger, can be from a distance. This can be that energy because they have the chariot. So they come towards this person. Okay. Let's see here. High Priestess. Wow, all major kind of the other person. Someone who, who practices the occult. This is a Taurus energy for me. Okay. This is always a Taurus energy for me because this this is Taurus right there. The moon over there, that's Taurus for me. Someone here followed their intuition that they will find their love. But there's fated event that it's gonna meet this person. The person appears to be recluse. You know, they don't they don't think of love over here, but they will receive it when they're not thinking about it. Someone comes in their life over here. You could be dealing with a with a with an air sign who comes into your work, who comes in you know, like someone here is coming to your cycle. Like it's this is a person who's on its way. Here. Major things happening with this person. It's three major arcana here. Um, the lover's card is your soulmate. They know who their soulmate is, and they in intuitively know their soulmate here with the high priestess. They know they, this person has connected with the universe here, with the high priestess and the chariot. That's because the chariot receives the blessing from the universe. The high priestess connects with the universe. Very connected here, especially with their angels and guides over here. This is guided to meet this person here with the wheel of fortune. Whoever this uh, this person who's focusing on their work. We'll meet this person here. Or you've met already. Alright? So far, I'm going to continue this reading as we move forward with this energy together with the four points. Have a wonderful um, May 2nd. I'll see you guys again. Bye.